Hi besties, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to video number three of the freaking week. How are we liking the frequent videos? How are we liking it? I am working very hard, you guys. I'm working so hard, you guys wouldn't even imagine i mean i'm sure you guys can imagine but i've been working really really hard and i'm really proud of myself and i'm loving this consistency i feel like every day is like we gotta work and we gotta get to our goals how is everyone doing how's everyone's week been now that it's already thursday it's basically the weekend i'm so excited you guys know that fridays are my days like to go out and then the rest of the weekend is like resting and getting ready for the new week and all the new videos that i can film for you guys i'm thinking about cutting my hair tomorrow i don't know i want to but i don't because i just i spent like money even though i saved money yesterday on my hands feet and my wax i also want to get a haircut because my hair is very damaged from when i went to dye my hair red and then it didn't work and then i bleached it twice and then i did the red bangs and it just i screwed up my hair completely as you can see like where the two pieces of the red was and yeah you can kind of tell it's kind of dead you saw in my last in my last two videos my last weekend vlog where i had like two braids and it literally looked like a witch's broom yeah so I'm thinking about it. I'm not too sure because when you look good, you feel good and you get more done. So that's that's where I'm going with this. So maybe I will tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just dye it like back to my jet black hair because sometimes like when I when I've noticed that my hair gets like kind of damaged, I'll just dye it, re dye it black and the black kind of like brings it back to life. It's really weird. I don't know what the science is behind it, but every single time I re dye my hair black, my hair like gets healthier so i think i'm gonna try that and see how it goes and if not then we'll get the haircut so yeah that's where we're at today on the note of talking about looking good feeling good i wanted to come to you guys and talk about what i am currently obsessed over and like totally shook over to be honest because i cannot believe there's honestly brands who do things like this like i wish i would have thought about this we're gonna talk about dossier so if you guys know me if there's something about me it's if i go out i want to be the person who smells the best like i want every single time someone says hi to me to be like wow you smell incredible now the only thing that comes with that is that perfumes are very expensive they're so freaking expensive honestly and right now we're balling on a budget you guys know me i'm all about balling on a budget dossier is where it's at they helped your girl out so dossier is a cologne brand that actually replicates really expensive perfumes you guys know perfumes are very expensive very expensive very expensive ridiculously expensive i'm usually one that actually buys travel sizes instead of the bigger ones and because it's just so freaking expensive and for the price of a travel size high-end brand perfume you get an entire one from dossier so the cool thing about dossier is that when you actually get your bottle you get a little sample size so you can try it out take it out see how you like it see how your body reacts to it see how long it lasts and it's free returns and exchanges before you even have to open this one so before you get it you can literally try it out take it out on the town see if you like it see if you like the feedback you get from it and if you don't like it you literally just return it exchange it and get another one so each scent actually goes for 29 dollars, and you guys already know that designer perfumes go from like 250 to 350 and even higher which is incredible like i don't think i'd ever be able to pay for a perfume that costs as much if not more than my car payment i just can't do it and i just won't so no that is why i'm a person who always buys um travel size perfumes and now i can buy a full size that smells just like the designer perfume that i like that actually costs less than the travel size itself which is so i got two so i got the powdery hawthorne and this one is inspired by tom ford metallic metallic i don't you guys i do not know how to pronounce these it smells incredible it smells elegant it smells it smells like you're that bitch it is what it is so i'm gonna be walking around smelling like tom ford period and the other one that i have this one is actually my favorite so this is floral honey suckle so this one is inspired by gucci bloom and all of my besties here that watch me know that my favorite perfume is actually gucci bloom it's gucci bloom but gucci bloom is very expensive i go through travel sizes like crazy which is dumb because they run out in like two 0.2 seconds and this whole bottle costs less than an actual travel size and it smells literally identical that it's freaking crazy oh my god it smells so freaking 
good. So this one I like like during daytime, if you're going out for like a brunch or something with the girls. And if you're going out club and you do a little bit of powdery Hawthorne, a little bit of Tom Ford, yeah. And you're gonna be having all the men literally right behind you, like literally being like, uh, hello. So when I put on my perfumes, I like to always put them behind my ears. So when here in Miami, and I don't know if anywhere else, is this how you guys say hi to people? But we give kisses and hugs. And obviously when someone goes to give you a kiss on the cheek, you want them to smell you. So I always put it right here down my neck. So as soon as they give you that kiss and they take their little breath, they just smell you and you smell like a goddess. And they're also constantly adding new scents to their collection. So if there is a perfume that you love that is not on the site that you would like them to recreate, they're always taking suggestions. So go ahead and hit them up. And of course, you guys already know that I got my besties with a little discount code so we can all be smelling good in the club. I'm going to be leaving the code right here for you guys. Also, I'm going to be leaving linked down below the two scents that I got. I also would like to know what is everyone's favorite type of scent? What's everyone's favorite perfume? I like very bright kind of floral -y scents. I want to know what yours is so you guys can recommend me and I can get some more scents. So hit your girl up. Let me know which type of scents you like and what perfumes you like so I can go find some. And people are going to be like, wow, this girl's constantly smelling like designer perfumes. And they're going to think that you have all this freaking money. <laughs> I'm telling you, we fake it till we make it, baby. Okay, so I changed my shirt. I think I'm actually having a Sunkiss Zero. My mom got and I couldn't resist. It's six o'clock. I haven't had anything. My first meal of the day. I just tried this. My mom also got this, this avocado salsa. I don't know why it never called my attention at all at the store. I'm like, I hate like artificial guac salsas. Like for example, like the mini guac pack, like individual packs, I feel case okay, disgusting. And I'm having it with some spicy pork rinds. And you guys, this stuff is delicious. It's so good. It's 45 calories per two tablespoons and one net carb and four grams of fat. 10 out of 10. It's really yummy. I'm so hungry. I don't stop. I have been on my work mode, you guys. I think they're a little stale. Did you hear that? So today we're finally gonna make <laughs> the salmon. We're finally gonna have the salmon that I've had in the fridge for a hot minute and I'm not gonna let it go to waste. It's basically an $8 salmon. We're gonna eat it. So I'm just gonna cook it. I wanted to put it in the air fryer, but I want like a crispy skin in the back. So yeah, and I think I'm gonna have it with a side of banana fries. These are breadfruit fries and it's eight carbs per serving and five dietary fiber and 85 calories. And these kind of are like fry, like a dupe for like fries. They look like this. They're super delicious. I found mine at Walmart. Usually I have like tostones de pana and it's same thing, breadfruit. They're just like squished fried plantains. Not plantains. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, these are the same thing just in fry form. And I'm almost done and I really don't feel like using a lot of pans. So I think I'm just gonna pan fry. I'm just gonna season it a little bit and then I'm gonna cook it after in its butter that it came with. This is a pesto butter. And I'm gonna make some of these little low carb fries. And till then, I'm gonna be snacking on this. I don't know if I should be having these. I think these are low stale, but that's where we're at. Well, I was gonna make, I changed my mind and I wanted to make the viral TikTok salmon. I don't know if you guys can see. Not the wrap, because I obviously, I'm on keto, so I can't really use the soy paper. But I am gonna use the firecracker sauce dipping. I was gonna make a salad with it because it has jalapenos, avocados, uh, green onion, and it looks absolutely delicious. And I was gonna make my own like little tacos, but my family just finished my last avocado making guac yesterday. It's not the same. So we're just gonna use the dipping sauce. I don't know, which I don't know, bro. This salmon has given me such a hard time. Okay guys, so for the dipping sauce for the salmon, because we're gonna cook the salmon in the pesto butter, but I still wanna make the little dipping sauce from the TikTok that I saw. So she uses cilantro, but I don't have any, so we're gonna use some green onion. She also uses some vinegar. I have rice vinegar. We're just gonna... She was like eyeballing it in the recipe. She also uses soy sauce. So we're gonna use some soy sauce. Sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds. 
and she used brown sugar. And I was like, oh my God, brown sugar. I just got a brown sugar swerve. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. It looks like she used like a tablespoon. I've never used this stuff before. So I guess we will see today. I mean, it looks exactly like it did in the video, but I kind of want to add some chili onion crunch. You guys know I love this stuff. And I feel like it would taste good. Let's give it a nice spice, maybe. But I got a little breadfruit fry. We're just gonna dip it in here. Mmm. I think we could maybe use a little more chili. Okay, so I just watched some videos. So they said to get a crispy salmon skin to really get it dry. I also cut it in half just so it's easier for me to cook since I'm not really pro at cooking salmon. So to get it really dry and they put just salt and pepper. Pepper and salt, pepper and salt, pepper and salt. And we're gonna go and pan fry this baby. So here's the pesto butter we're gonna be cooking it in. I'm just gonna put it right there on the pan. Wait for it to get hot. The pan looks extra big because all the other pans in the house are dirty because everyone else used it. Ooh, we got butterfly. I need to change my shirt. I need to change my shirt. I need to change my shirt. So now we're going to Top. It's just going everywhere. We're gonna let them cook <laughs> with that top on because nah. Let's see where we're at. Oh, look at that crispy salmon skin, bitch. Wow. And here you have it, you guys. Doesn't she look so good? Not so bad. I haven't done salmon in a really long time. Now I kind of want to put this sauce right here on top and just Alright guys, it's time to take a bite of my salmon. Let me take a picture of her. She looks cute. Oh, there goes all the sauce. I try to take a cute little thumbnail pic. All right, bye. So I don't make a mess. Look at that. Is that a good cooked salmon? Crispy salmon skin. Mmm. Hold on a sec. That's a good fish. I currently smell like fish. But it's fine. And to dip my fries in, you guys guessed it, some Lighthouse Ranch. Oh my god, we're running out. And salsa tatara. This is tartar sauce from Colombia. If you guys have ever had like Colombian street food, this is that white green sauce that they put on it. That makes it all taste better. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Next time, I think I'd put less brown and sugar. Maybe sriracha or something to make it spicy. I left a bigger piece for my dad so he can take to lunch tomorrow. I'm just so happy we finally cooked that salmon. That salmon has been in my fridge for way too long. Some tartar sauce. I'm thinking about maybe making a dessert because I ate the rest of my ice cream yay later yesterday. What the fuck was I trying to say? So we don't have any dessert. Isn't salmon good for your brain or something? Isn't fish good for your brain? Damn, that's it. I finished my fish. All done. I low-key want more fish. It was so good. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna steal my dad's fish. I'm gonna finish my fries and get myself something to drink. Let's see how he likes it, everybody. Mm. Oh my God, this is amazing. No, oh God, you scared me for a second. I know it's good. I had it earlier. Oh, the sauce is amazing. The flavor is amazing. Period. Incredible. Love that for me. No, 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 no. Give him, you, give him a review. Everything was ex excellent except her. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Everything 
everything was good. She doesn't want to wash the dishes. <laughs> I always wash the dishes. Summer, what are you eating? Summer. I love you, creative. No, but it was amazing. Peace, guys. You better <laughs> taste that shit. It's awesome. <laughs> Period! <laughs> Period! <gasps> My camera's running out of battery. I'm in the mood for a bagel. I want a bagel. I'm gonna want a bagel. I'm gonna go get a bagel. All right, you guys. So I wanted a bagel, a uh, Sola bagel, but... I could have sworn I had another bag in my other freezer, but it's not there anymore. I don't know if my dad finished them because he's gotten caught finishing my keto stuff even though he's not on keto, which is very sad. So I have to settle for the keto bread from Aldi, which I mean, I used to be a fan of, but recently I've been having it and I don't like it. It's zero carbs per slice and 40 calories. And I really wanted a bagel and cream cheese. So I think I'm just gonna have this with cream cheese. I also made myself some cinnamon strawberry milk and it tastes delicious. With some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I used my Perfect Keto Strawberry Collagen. If you guys know, collagen is good for your hair, skin and nails. And yeah, this is what I used to make my strawberry milk and it tastes delicious. It's 80 calories per scoop. I used one scoop, three carbs, uh, and four grams of fat. And I added some cinnamon as well and put it in my little blender. And now we're just going to put some ice. And yeah, guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I completely forgot to end it yesterday because I have been exhausted. I've been really tired. Finished eating, came upstairs, watched some TikToks, and I literally fell asleep with like my phone in my hand. I was so tired. And then I was like editing today and I'm like, okay, I'm almost done editing. And then I'm like, girl, where's the... Where's the, the outro? Where is it? Where to go? Here it is. It is Friday. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the three videos this week. I cannot wait to film more and more for you guys. Of course, I'm going to be filming this weekend, filming another weekend vlog for you guys, trying to film as much as possible. Maybe film a mukbang if I don't do anything exciting. So yeah, all my mind has just been filming, filming, and filming, and filming, and filming for you guys. And yeah, I also forgot to tell you guys, you guys already know, for Perfect Keto products, you guys can use my code KETOGONGLAM. It's always in my description. You guys know I love anything uh perfect keto it's also not sponsored but you guys already know perfect keto is my baby i thought i had to put it out there for you guys because you guys definitely want to get a, get the collagen it's super yummy super delicious and yeah that's about it i have nothing else to say uh i love you guys so much make sure to follow me on all my social medias i leave it linked down below in my description always remember to be kind to one another and i will see you on my next one mm.